this Paris Swimming European Open Championships Madeira 2024. We are on the hillside in Funchal's Olympic Pools Complex. It's going to be a great night of action. We are going to crown 26 new European champions tonight. My name's Paul Noble. I'll be taking you through the action. And uh, alongside me, as always, Liz Johnson. Welcome, Liz. Good evening, Paul. Good heat session this morning has set us up for some exciting races to kick off this championships. Yeah, teams out in force there. Spanish have got a big presence in the finals tonight. Of course, it's European Open Championships, so not only European countries taking part in these championships, but we have swimmers from all of the world para swimming regions. 435 swimmers in all. It's only the European medals that we will see presented tonight. There are open medals as well, but they will not be going through a medal ceremony. Only the European winners you'll see in the medal ceremony. And there's what we've got in store tonight. Let's start off with the 400 in the men's at 17.30. We seem to be doubling up there. I don't think there's two 400s, just one 400 for the men's. Butterfly, a few sprint freestyles as well. Breaststroke for the men and for the women. There'll be medal presentations kind of interspersed between those finals. But a number of finals for us to look forward to. A range of classifications as well. And as we go through, we'll explain the classification system a little bit more in depth for some of the races as we see them. The S1 to S10 are for those swimmers with a physical impairment, with S1 being the most impaired, S10 being the least impairment. S11 to 13, those for visual impaired swimmers, and S14 for those with an intellectual impairment. So, well, Liz, we had some great heats this morning. We'll be seeing some events that didn't have heats as well, so a little bit of an unknown quantity, some of them. Yeah, it was a relatively short session to kick us off this morning. Some people having to do a lot to get into the final, some not so much, but a number of swimmers will have gone direct to final tonight, so it will be their first outing. Always interesting then, because they typically come in on their fastest time of the last two years, so it's not always an indication of how they will swim here this evening. It just makes it even more exciting for us. I have a good idea of some of the form of some of the swimmers who've been swimming in the, the World Para Series, which has really taken off over the last couple of years. Here's our technical officials who do a great job. If you saw the opening ceremony a short while ago, you'll have seen the officials take the oath. Yoko Cancela taking the oath of the athletes. He's going to be in a final in a short while, a Portuguese home favourite. Well, so a mix of international officials and also domestic officials as well from Portugal. And the technical delegate, Supersad, in charge tonight, as she often is, Liz. Yeah, it's quite an established officials team now. Like the, as we said, there's Tony Ward. They line up on the pool side. Everybody very familiar with Madeira as a venue now. Yeah, of course. It's the fourth time we've had a major championship in Madeira. Over the last few years, started at the European Open in 2016. And we also had uh, another European Open in 2021 and the World Championships here in 2022. So it's a great venue. And as we say, it's, it's almost the, the second home of World Para Swimming. Yeah, it's a very familiar venue. And like we said, that, that helps some of the athletes. The more you come to a venue, the more you know the walk through um, to the call room where the swim down pool is. You can just visualize things better when you're training. And for a lot of people, that puts them really at ease. But then, of course, you get the flip of some athletes who like the excitement of going to a new venue for the first time. And, uh, but one thing we have got used to is that, that scoreboard countdown, Paul, that gets us <laughs> underway yeah. and into our first race. Yeah, and here we go. First race about to come out. And it is the 400 freestyle for the S8 class. Remember, S1 to S10, those are physical impairments, with S10 being the least impaired. So this is uh, towards the least impaired category for these swimmers. We're about to see our first finalists. Going in from uh, outside in, so we'll start with lane eight, Cowell. 
De Oliveira, three times a Paralympian, the Brazilian, one of the non-Europeans in this one. A neutral para-athlete in lane number one, and that is the Paralympic champion, Andrei Nikolev. He will be a threat from the outside lane, that's for sure. Inigo Lopez Sands to the cheers of the Spanish fans. A European champion back in 2018, he goes in seven. There is a home favourite, Diogo Cancela. Medalist at the World Championships last year in medley swimming. Reed Maxwell, the tall figure, the 16-year-old from Canada. And there is the world champion, Alberto Amadeo from Italy. Play number three. Two fastest from the heats. Callum Simpson had a very good heat swim. Big improvement on his entry time, the 17-year-old Australian. And Mark Malyar. Israeli swimmer has been a Paralympic champion who swam in the S7 class Liz moved it up to the S8s now but he was a Paralympic champion in this in the S7 class so he'll have a chance as well yeah we see him there he's got lane four for this final obviously you've got lane you've got a chance that doesn't necessarily mean that you he'll have it all his own way but we have seen him really step up and raise the game because he's got stronger and he'll be competitive tonight. There he is, Mark Malia. One lane close to us. We'll see. Alberto Amadeo, but there in your shot, that green hat. The Australians wearing a green hat this evening to start us off. We're used to that yellow for Callum Simpson. Exciting race lining up here. So, the final of the men's. 400 freestyle S8 is underway. Yeah, they got away well. They say pretty even away. It is eight lengths of the pool. Going well in the early stages. Is that is Simpson of Australia? We see a very young team from Australia here at these championships, looking to make themselves eligible for consideration for the Paris Paralympic Games going well down in the bottom of the pool it is Paralympic champion Nikolaev he turns first 30.11 he said in the morning it, there was little to separate these swimmers in the morning so we did say there was danger from everywhere across the pool tonight and that seems to be how this is panning out down the first 100 meters yeah, Nikolai, he's a reigning champion as well. He's been the Paralympic champion, a reigning European champion as well. Won that title back in 2021 at the European Open. And Amadeo in second. Well, he'll be able to, to see Nikolai. That's We thought that might be the head-to-head. -head. Nikolai in the outside lanes, kind of maybe a little bit out of the, the mix in the middle. But probably the two class acts of this one are going to be the two that are leading at the minute. And that's Nikolaev and Amadeo. Simpson now looks like he might just be overtaken by Mark Maria. As we look at it, lane one at the bottom. And lane eight right at the top there. And the, those yellow mark lanes in the centre of the pool are four and five. So Amadeo and Nikolaev. Amadeo pulling back now on Nikolaev as they come down to the halfway point. This is just shaping up to be the battle we thought it might be, Liz. Yeah, Amadeo there had a great turn. He started to close the gap a little bit on Nikolaev. It's hard working down there in those early stages from lane one. But there only, there's only one lane that separates these two, so they will be able to see each other when they breathe towards each other or when they turn. And it is Amadeo that hits the front at the midway point. Yeah, Nikolaev went out to really quite fast but Amadeo came back there in the closing stages of that first half of that race Nikolai have not out of it yet though and there are the two swimmers they are pretty close but Amadeo did well on that uh, fourth 50 just to take him into the advantage that he has but there's not much in it at all here as they go over at the 250 mark and again, Nikolaev just slipping off, but Amadeo's turned really good, getting him away from Nikolaev every time. Yeah, Amadeo with that one strong leg, he pushing off the wall, and we see that streamlined position. He is really, that is at the moment where he's making the gains. He's got quite a high stroke rate. 
can see he's, spin, he's turning his arms over a little more quickly than Nikolaev, who uses a bit of a longer stroke. And it, but it is those turns at the moment that are making the big difference and then giving Amadeo the momentum. So he'll turn now onto the last 100 meters with the advantage, just over two and a half seconds ahead of Nikolaev with Mark Malia in third position. And Reed Maxwell of Canada also having a good swim here in lane six. Yeah, Maxwell now challenging the uh, third position. Of course, he's a, a non-European. He won't feature in the European medals, but he could win himself an open medal if he can get up into third position. But Amadeo looks like he has this one sewn up. We've seen some great battles that Amadeo has had over the last couple of years. He's taken the, the major titles, but it looks like he's going to take another one here, and it's going to be a comfortable victory, I think, Liz. Yeah, in the end, it's, it's actually quite spread out. First and second position, but look, the field is starting to close for third. Can Malia hold on to that position? But there is Amadeo, who's looking commanding at the front. Well, the Italians have had a great uh, European and World Championships in recent years. They're going to start off with another gold medal here. And there is Alberto Amadeo. He will take it with 4.24.29. Great swim from Amadeo. Nikolaev will hold on for the silver medal position. And in third place, I think it was Mark Malia just holding off the challenge of Reed Maxwell, who did another great swim, the young Canadian. But Malia it will be on the medal podium. But there is Amadeo celebrates on the lane rope. Great stuff from the Italian. And they have started well. That's ominous for the rest of the countries, isn't it, Les? Yeah, we've come we've become very used to seeing the Italians have strong um, majors, major championships, and they like you said, picked up where they left off. But Malia be pleased to get on the podium there. Swam well, but they are part of this incredible Italian squad that just keeps growing all the time and they've got some new faces at these championships that we will see but it was Nikolaev that led in the very early stages there he is down the right at the bottom of the pool but at the halfway point Amadeo hit the front and then just pulled away yeah, it was never in doubt from, well, certainly when they got into the second half and Amadeo celebrates, that's a celebration from the Italian. I'm sure it's not going to be the last time we'll see an Italian at the top of the podium. Alberto Amadeo will take the 400 freestyle S8 in 4.24.29 ahead of Nikolaev and Maliar who takes silver and bronze. Good swim from Reed Maxwell, Canadian, 4.33.15 in fourth. Well, all got a bit spread out there at the end, Liz. That's a nice way to start. Some good times, isn't there? Yeah, that was quick from Amadeo. Very, very quick. Just no doubt why he was so happy with that finish. That's uh, faster than he went to win the world title last year. 400 freestyle for women, S8. Coming on now for the next final. Alexander Borska, Czech Republic, the 15 year old, goes in lane number one. And Paul Novina from Croatia will be on the opposite side of the pool. Croatia, a finalist in the World Championships last year. Mia Pavlova, he was a medalist back here in 2016 in the European Championships. Pavlova. Duskova, also medalist in that European Champs in 2016. Against each other again. Willie Rice from Great Britain goes in three. And so there, Barretso and Xenia Palazzo in the centre lane. There they are in four and five. Palazzo, world champion from last year. And so there, Barretso, silver medalist. So the two world championship gold and silver medalists in the centre lanes and they will start as favourite Palazzo big advantage over the rest of the field in terms of entry times Liz this is one didn't have a heat this morning yeah and Palazzo does always manage to put in a good performance she will definitely be the favourite but without a heat anything is possible Palazzo goes in lane four for Italy the fastest entry time ahead of Zuder Barretzo of Spain
Well, they get away there, and Palazzo in the center lane does tend to manage to hold on to a high stroke rate the whole way through a 400 meters. You can see that blue hat there in the center going well. Pavlova in, in lane two here in your shot at the moment. It's gotten off to a good start as well. They'll be looking to use this first 50 to settle in to their rhythms. He said no heat this morning. No doubt most of them will have come in to the race competition pool for a paddle. But this is their first chance to see where they are at at these championships. And it was Palazzo ahead of Zuderbrezo, ahead of Rice. So, uh, land that first 50, you'd expect that's how they've entered. And um, that's how it's going in the early stages. But still a long way to go. Uh, it's not always the case when you see a spearhead like that in the pool. They are uh, ranked, the times are ranked in a, almost a spearhead formation. And this is following the script so far. Palazzo 111.83 out ahead of Derberizzo in second. Again, both medalists on the major championships. Billy Rice from Great Britain. Well, it's first major for the Great Britain so much. He did go to the Commonwealth Games, took a bronze medal for Team Wales. You're happy about this? I was. The one no red of Wales, we don't get to see it very often. Obviously, Rice, more of a backstroker, but Palazzo, some at the front of the field, someone who has a very, very busy program. She, we always see her taking on a lot of events, and she's going well in this first one of what I'm sure will be an extremely busy week for her. She was just two seconds ahead there of Zuzé Barreto. And there's quite a battle on behind though, like we, like we saw in the male event earlier. This race is on for that third position. But at the front of the field, Palazzo, that trademark stroke, for, like I said, high stroke rate right from the off, going well into the halfway turn. Yeah, she's really been one of the mainstays of this S8 class over the past few years. She goes into the halfway point with a, a big lead over <coughs> to Riberetso, but three and a half seconds almost ahead of the Spaniard. Rice in third place. Pavlova has moved into fourth, just about less than a second behind Rice. So it is all to play for in the second half, as you say, Liz, but, well, Palazzo really looking good at the front of the field. We saw Amadeo do that in the previous final. So the Italians have really started off well. Yeah, and the great thing about this Italian squad is they have depth across the board. And what happens is they get us off to a good start. Then, and then it just the wave carries through the whole team. And this is definitely going to be exactly what they planned for here this morning. But again, going well is Zuder Berezo in that silver medal position at the moment. She'll be pleased with that. Might hope to be a little bit closer to Palazzo, but again, we can't emphasize it enough, I guess, with it being a Paralympic year, all squads have different strategies and different preparation plans to take them to the games and different qualification periods. So, whereas you would typically see a swimmer maybe tapering for a championship such as the Europeans, that might not be the case for some of these athletes at this meet. Yeah, we don't know the preparation. Of course, some of the athletes still got to qualify as well. They'll have their own national trials as well. We know that some countries have already had those trials and the team will be largely picked for the Paralympic Games. But some countries still got to go through that process. Not sure where the Italians are, but Palazzo definitely should be one of the names on the list you would expect. And she goes over with a big, big lead now over Zadir Barretzo and Pavlova looks to have the edge on Lily Rice as they come to this final turn. Yeah, we're now focused on that battle for the third position. It is Pavlova that goes over. It's now body length ahead of Lily Rice. But no doubt where the victory in this one is going to go. Palazzo has had a commanding lead from the start. And it is going to be Palazzo, Simia Francesca Palazzo into the wall now and under the five minute mark in 4.56.62.
Excellent swim, another dominant swim from an Italian S8 400 freestyler. It's going to be second for Spain, so Der Berezzo in 5.829, and it will be Pavlova just getting the touch over Lily Rice. And well, a couple of good times there. Pavlova taking that one in 5.14.97, Rice 5, 16.70. But no doubt about the winner, Liz. Palazzo dominated that one from the start. She did. She was the, the class of the field in many respects. And uh, she delivered. Can I just say, though, she went exactly the time she entered. 4.56.62 was her entry time. That is not <laughs> easy to do. And I'm sure she wasn't planning to do that. But she'd be pleased to be on that pace at this point of the year. Sure, they're getting away. Sorry, Paul. Sorry. Saying some of the athletes do get assistance at the start. And uh, we've got a good view of that there. But she led all the way, Paul. Yeah, just going to say, we were talking about dead heats this morning. She's had a dead heat with herself there from the time she did in January. Exactly the same time as she did in the final. And Pavlova winning that really close battle with Lily Rice that was a good tussle all the way through that 400 that was a battle for the bronze medal Palazzo will take the gold in the women's 400 freestyle S8 another gold for Italy so now Barretto the silver for Spain and Pavlova winning that close contest with Lily Rice for bronze wow well, two events down Liz Two golds, the Italians. Yeah, it's you're something we keep an Italian. I, I will, but I'll do it as I always do it when the medals are presented. No, maybe oh. I should do it now. Oh no, I don't know. <laughs> there, there might be another one here. There might be another one now. <laughs> well, the Italians out of the traps quick. As we expect strong events for them. Here come the finalists for the next event. We've got 10 finals before we go on to the medal presentations for tonight. And there's Dmitry Grigorev. And the first of two Italians in this one is Ricardo Menciotti. Czech Republic's Tadeusz Strasic had a good heat swim. Start the medals in the World Champs two years ago. Morris Metikam has been on the medal podium for the last two World Championships. The young German swimmer. Here is Stefano Raimondi. Well, firm favourite for this one, Raimondi. World and Paralympic champion. Tang Shu Yan. Qualified third on the heat tag. Only newcomer from the Chinese team. And Asayev goes in lane number five, the Paralympic silver medalist. But big support in the stands for Hector Denier, the French swimmer. World Championship bronze medalist last year. Victor Dinay, just 19 years of age. Maurice Betacam, 18 years of age. The youngsters close to the centre of the pool. But Raimondi, he's got a heavy programme, Raimondi. He knew it was going to be a tough day for him. He's made sure he's qualified for that final. He will be the favourite from lane six, the Italian dominated this event over the past few years three times a world champion twice European champion Paralympic champion as well but Dene a youngster in the center lane can he spring a surprise that's the final of the men's 100 breaststroke SB9. Well, yeah, keep an eye on lane six, Raimondi. There you can see it's the black hat of Italy. Just above the two yellow lane lines, who has popped up in the lead, that high stroke rate. He's dominated these breaststroke events in the SB9 category in recent years. He's used to the busy double on day one. We'll have the 50 freestyle later, but at the moment he won't be thinking about that. He'll be thinking about this breaststroke. And he's not 
having it all his own way at all he does turn first but only just and it was a, a good uh, swim coming back on Raimondi was Isaev in lane number five Denier right there as well the French swimmer they are coming back on Raimondi as they come down to the final stages now but Raimondi looking very strong the Italian is it going to be another goal for Italy? Denaye coming back now. He's got ahead of Isayev. Is he going to get ahead of Raimondi? Into the closing stages now. And it is. Whoa, very close indeed. It's Raimondi. 106.38. Well, I'm not sure what that is. We don't have a time for Denaye, Liz. It was very no. close. Very it close. It was very tight at the finish there. Our scoreboard not giving us the information that we could do with right now. Similarly, I think it's probably the same for the oh. athletes in the water. It was tight, very tight. And it did all come down to that final touch. Well, well, Raimondi, there he is. He's been crowned the champion in the venue. We're still waiting for the confirmed results here. But how close was that then, eh? What a swim that was. Denny have looked very, very strong in those closing stages. Raimondi has had a bit of time out of racing. Just welcomed his son to the world back in February. So probably getting his head around some sleepless nights. But you can only race like with what you've got, when you've got it. And we can see here, look at the fast stroke rate in the end. As it all came down. I mean, well, it was close. We still haven't got the time there. We're going to find <laughs> out in a second, hopefully. But not, I, not one, nothing, not it? one. Oh, oh, look at that! Four one hundreds. We've got the time there. Isayev. Well, he challenged for a, a short period, but what a swim from Denaye to challenge the great Stefano Ramondi. But Ramondi prevailed. Another European title for the Italian. Wow. <laughs> What can we <laughs> say about that? <laughs> the women are coming out. No rest for us, Liz. As the women, only five swimmers taking the start for this one. Susanna Boroszewska. Here we are, the 18-year-old. We saw Sidorenko go through in lane number two. Tatiana Lebrun, the World Championship bronze medalist from 2022. And the two Dutch swimmers in the centre. Lisa Kruger, Paralympic champion from Rio in 2016. And Chantel Zadeveld, Paralympic champion from Tokyo in 2021. And Zadeveld has uh, dominated this event. The world record holder. She set that in Tokyo. She had a fantastic games in Tokyo, Chantel Zadeveld. Lisa Kruger, two Netherlands swimmers, will be favourites to take the medal here. Side about the world record holder goes in lane number four. Well, they get away well there. A bit of synergy between Zuderveld and Kruger, both having surgeries and procedures in their build-up to Paris. In that, in lane four, there, Zuderveld. It's like a, a d domestic championships for these two swimmers. They're so used to racing each other. It means they're so prepared when they come to international waters. And it is Zuderveld that's leading them down the first 50. She'll touch just ahead of Lisa Kruger. 34.2 is the graphic ahead of 35.2 with Le Brun. 36.30. But it is Judeville closest to us that's leading the way, looking strong down this final 25 metres. Well, Kruger giving chase, but I don't think there's much you can do about Chantal Judeville. Chantal Judeville is coming back now. There's the 15 metre marker. 
it looks like it is going to be a Dutch one too with Lebrun coming back in the closing stages but the world record holder is going to add another European title she won it last in 2018 and she's won it again in 2024 Chantel Zadabel takes it 130.98 she'll be pleased to get into the 113 range with Lisa Kruger in second and there's a smile of Chantel Zadabel well another title in this breaststroke she's been really done well 10 years now that she has been at the top Chantel first came to prominence in the European champs back in the Netherlands in Eindhoven in 2014 and this will be our fourth European title that she's taken. It will, and it's her only race of the meet individually. She very much since she she semi-retired after Tokyo, but then missed missed the international waters too much and came back. And her program is very much 100 meters breaststroke and 50 meters freestyle. And as we talked about in the previous race, it's a difficult double on day one. And I said she's coming back from injuries, so probably not the time to push herself all the way, especially in a Paralympic year. So she'll be mightily pleased with that time and that showing here in Madeira. Uh, Cougar it was in second, just ahead of Lebrun, who was closing there, Lebrun, in those closing metres. But Chantal Zaydeveld takes the title again, her fourth title in the European Championships. 113.98, ahead of her teammate Lisa Kruger and Tatiana Lebrun. 118.05 for the bronze medal position. Well, again, the favourites uh, are doing well tonight, Liz, but they've been pressed. They haven't had it all the wrong way. That is true. And another favourite coming up in this next race, Paul. Yeah, well, Drickett holder goes in the centre lane. First out, a couple of non-Europeans. And this one, one of them being Nathan Hendricks, the 18-year-old. This is the S13 class, so with the visual impairment. Partial vision, Juan Ferron, Gutierrez, finalist last year in the World Championships. 20-year-old Vladimir Sotnikov. Olympic medalist from 2016. Second of the Spanish swimmers, the bronze medalist from last year, Alhambra Moya. Ochenko, world champion from Ukraine, goes in lane three. Alex Portal, the French swimmer. Oh, well supported by the crowd. Big French contingent in tonight. And he will be up against. This man, the world record holder, Ihar Bogi. Again, someone well, he's taken four European titles in the past. Ihar Bogi, firm favourite to make it number five in this event. Ihar Bogi, the world record holder. Next to the world champion, Alexei Verchenko. And Alex Portal, the World Championship silver medalist from France in lane five. Well, they get away. Well, it will be Ihaboki in lane four that everyone is trying to stick with. Alex Portal putting a good performance in the heat this morning to get that lane five, but going le well, one lane closer to us than the yellow lane lines is Virchenko. They all go into the wall together. Boki 25.55, 25.94 for Portal, 26 flat for Virchenko. They are your top three at the halfway point. Well, again, uh, three favourites here. Boki set the world record in this pool. He went 24.93 on that occasion, so he's around about half a second out. But we've seen him come back really strong in the past, and it is going to be Boki again. Another European title for Ihar Boki into the wall now. And that time, 54.30. Excellent swim again from Boki. Or talent is, gets in ahead of the world champion. And it will be silver to the Frenchman and bronze to the Ukrainian 
Well, there is Portel. That's a good way to start the week for the Frenchman. Nothing he could do about the, the dominance of E.R. Boki. Takes that one. Another great performance from Boki. He really is a great technician, Liz, isn't he? Yeah, we said it in the heats. It's difficult when you watch him to work out how quick he's going because he's got such a long controlled stroke regardless of the rate that he's popping out and we can see it wasn't as far ahead as we often see down the first 50 but he did open up that gap and then we can see from that close there just how important it is to time that finish because Portal that was the difference when he got in ahead of Verchenko it all came down to that wall touch so we have Boki takes another European title in the men's 100 butterfly Alex Portal from France will take the silver and Alexei Verchenko bronze this time for Verchenko. That was the visually impaired S13 classification for men. We've got the visually impaired women now on their way. The final of the 100 meters butterfly and a couple of non-europeans in this two from uzbekistan the rest are european they'll be eligible for the european medals 100 butterfly s13 amendak goes out to lane eight three times a paralympic gold medalist in butterfly in the S12 class. Fourth European Championships for Maria Polo Lopez in lane one. Her Spanish teammate, Ariadna Leda Beltran. Alicia Berra. The only S12 in this one. The S12 swimming alongside the S13s. Just the one set of medals, of course. And Roshin Nirian from Ireland. World Championship silver medalist. Had a good heat this morning. It's the first of the Uzbekistan swimmers. Ms. Lima Odilova, silver medalist in the Paralympic Games in 2016. Posh gold medalist in the World Champs in 2019, but the world record holder, Karl Motajili. She will be again the favourite. Again, another Italian who's got a chance of taking a medal in the early stages of these championships. Julie, the reigning world Paralympic and European champion from Italy, goes in lane four. Alongside her, two from Uzbekistan. And Roshin Nirian, the world championship silver medalist from Ireland in lane six. Julie, the world record holder, 102.22. That stood since 2018. Yeah, Julie is one of the early adopters, if that's the right phrase, it's not the right phrase, but when she came in to the Italian team, it's just grown from strength to strength. It's a theme we will sound like we're repeating ourselves, but it's just because they do have such strength and depth across the para swimming program. She's going well there, really in level, but Odilova going very well as well. One lane closer to us in three. Those two over first. Julie staying under the water, coming up about a half a body length ahead of Odolova. Prosh Palatova in lane five, and the three black hats in the middle there. It looked like she was trying to come back, but Julie at the front leading that spearhead. Yeah, it looks like Chile on her way to another title. Odilova has given everything. Prosh Palatova now being challenged by Roshin Nirian, but it is going to be Julie who's going to be in here into the wall first another goal for the italian Odilova in second and nirian might have just got up ahead of tosh Palatova there for the bronze medal position it was mighty close between those two but i think it might have gone to the irish swimmer but carlotta gili delighted with that one great swim from the italian again and another victory for this italian team wow yeah, they've got their campaign off to an excellent start there. The wait for those results to be firmed. But impressive swimming. Julie, another, we say it a lot, there's a number of athletes here that will take 
a busy program. Niriano showing just how important it is to finish quickly because she was fourth with about six meters to go and then she just carried the momentum into the wall. Finished very strongly indeed. Yeah, great underwater shots we're getting here from Madeira. Uh, Julie, well, she led from the start, was the only swimmer out under the 30 second mark. And it was a clear lead as she came into the finish. There's the finish from the Rian, just hitting that stroke absolutely perfectly. The Irish swimmer, these visually impaired swimmers, sometimes you don't see the swimmers hit the, the finish and the turns absolutely perfect. But Oshin the Rian did a great job there. And she will take the bronze medal. In fact, it will be a silver medal for the Irish swimmer in terms of the European. The bronze will go to Alicia Berra and the gold medal will go to Carlotta Gili. So the two non-Europeans, the two Uzbeks, it will be Odilova who will get an open medal. But European top three will be Gili, Nirian and Berra. Please welcome the athletes for the men's 50 metres freestyle S5. That's going to trip us up, the uh, European Open medal, but... <laughs> I think, we're on it. I think we're on it. All part of the fun. <laughs> Men's 50 freestyle S5. We move up to the other end of the pool. And Lee Zikert, Malaysian, 17 years of age. Alexandro Lergios, butterfly finalist in the World Championships of the last couple of editions. And Herta Poza from Spain. Big Spanish presence as we've seen in the finals tonight. Yaroslav Semenenko, very experienced campaigner from Ukraine. This is his seventh European Championships. His teammate Andre Drapkin goes a couple of lanes across there in lane number six. Francesco Bocchiardo. Well, He's the reigning European champion, Bocciardo, in, five, in this one. Athletes, won that in 2016. Kilo 20-year-old, goes in lane number five. And Alexander Komarov took a gold medal last year in Manchester in the 100 freestyle. What can he do in this 50, Alexander Komarov? Again, this is S1 to S10, those with physical impairments. This is right in the middle of the classification, isn't it? S5. Yeah, quite often you'll see S5, S6 and S7 look to the naked eye, relatively similar, but the S5 have less function and functional ability in the water than the 6s and then the 6s less than the 7s. So, a wide range, lots of... Diverse impairments, you can see there with the pause with limb difference in all four limbs. A number of the other athletes typically have impairments in their lower legs, or as you can see there, Semenenko in lane two, limb difference in the upper body. So there's a range here, which makes it an exciting race. Komarov. Going from the water, expect Semenenko to get the best start there from the good legs that he has. Yeah, and it is Semenenko, you can see he dives off the block, free still event, he comes up onto his back and then forms that butterfly kick motion. He's leading the way, but you can see the charge from Komarov in the centre. Those fast arms of Bociardo coming back as well. It's going to be tight, but Komarov, the one with the strength in the centre. Yeah, Komarov looks like he has this one and he is going to take the title here. He will take it. And, oh well, good time from Komarov, I think. 32 point for him. Was it with Semenenko in second place? I don't think he did, but Pochiardo was holding off the challenge. There was a fast finish from Semenenko. Pulver finished very quickly too. We'll need to wait for the scoreboard <laughs> to start working for us again. <laughs> Before we can confirm the results, well, you never really tell from Francesco's face how that panned out. It was Komarov, uh, Semenenko, sorry, that uh, of course he doesn't have the advantage of the long arms at the end, didn't he? He was ahead 
going into the last few metres, but he'll have to touch with his head, and the others have the advantage at the end of touching with the arms. Of course, he had the advantage at the start of being able to start well with those good legs, didn't he? Yeah, so, and that's how you see the classification system play out. Like, there's different, there's so many different components to a race, to the Paris Swimming Programme, and all of those things are considered when a, a swimmer is getting assigned a classification. And we can see that finish is Komarov who comes in, Rosciardo, and I think it was Pulva who then touched in that third position. Yeah, Komarov was clearly ahead there, and he takes the title 32 0 8 for Alexander Komarov. Bocciardo in second, and a good finish from Kirill Pulva, as you said, Liz to take that bronze medal with Semenenko just out of the medals. Those were the top three, and they were the top three Europeans. So we move on to the women's race again in the S5s. Again, we'll see a range of different impairments. Make their way out. There's six swimmers taking the start at this one. And Debbie Tova competed here in 2016 in the European Open. And Turkish swimmer Sumai Bayachi. Oh, first two Turkish swimmers with very similar impairments. They've gone against each other in many events over recent years. Boyacci and Ozturk will have another battle on their hands here. Kupalova, the Czech swimmer, finalists back here in 2021 Europeans. Monica Boggioni, world champion in the 100 last year in Manchester. And Irina Poida was the World Championship silver medalist last year in Manchester. She'll be the favourite for this one. She has the fastest entry time. This is the a couple of seconds ahead of Boggioni. Again, we might see the race play out very similar to what we saw in that men's race, Les. Poida and Boggioni, very similar impairments. But the two Turkish swimmers, Boyacci and Oster, will get away well from the dive. And the point out in the centre lane, training favourite for this 50 freestyle. Yeah, once again there we see a range of start, starts to athletes from Turkey using that underwater to their advantage. We saw their boy actually coming up and turning on to her back. Ozduk saying on her front, but now in the centre it is that fast stroke rate of Poida going very well in the left yellow lane that we see on the screen. One lane is closest to us it is Poida head of Boggioni. Yeah, and Poida is going to take this one. Boggioni in second, trying to come back now, but it is going to be Poida. It's going to go one better than she went at the World Championships. It will be Poida. will take it in 37.8 for Poida. And Boggioni in second place. Well, great swim at the front of the field there for Irina Poida. And Boggioni in second place. And may well be Kupalova over for getting up there for third position. Kupalova just getting ahead of Ozturk who uh, finishes in third, fourth position just ahead of Boyacci but it was a good swim the favourite again living up to that favourite spilling Liz Arena Poida good swim in that 50 yeah very strong from the off we can see there she's up straight into her stroke it's that high stroke rate that, you, that does work well for swimmers in the 50 metres freestyle, get that rotation. Boggioni in the shot there, looking happy with her performance. And again, another swimmer with a busy week. Yeah, Poida takes the title in 37.84. It's Boggioni and Kupalova. Those are your medalists, the two 
Turkey swimmers out of the medals in this 50 freestyle, but they'll be back later in the week for the butterfly and the backstroke events. Well, we're still at the 50 meter end, the last two events before we move to some medal ceremonies. And here's the Portuguese team, some of the Irish in the background there will be happy about taking a medal. Nicole Turner, I can see there. And Barry McClements. So we'll be uh, quite happy to get a medal in the bag early as you see. Yeah, always, always puts the nerves at ease for the whole yeah. whole squad if you can get in early. And we've seen the Italians do that, as we said. <laughs> well, they have been uh, irresistible, the Italians, in these first few events. As we go on to the SB2 men's 50 meters Bristol, here is Jose Montilavera, one of the three non-Europeans in this one. Christoph Lickia, World Championship swimmer for Poland. He goes the outside lane. Ignacio Martinez Soto, Mexican swimmer. Goes in lane number seven, Alessandro Conti. One of the new Italians that we haven't seen at a major championships before. Alessandro Conti, the first of the two Italians, he goes in lane two. And there's Ionis Kostakis, 52 years of age now, his eighth European championships for the Greek. And Emmanuel Magigniano, he was well, well, European champion last time out. And there is Ismail Barlov, the 13-year-old from Bosnia. And Grant Patterson, the Australian Paralympic Games silver medalist. Great character around the pool, Grant Patterson. Again, another one of these swimmers will be hoping to register a time for him to compete in Paris. Grant Patterson, Paralympic silver medalist in the centre lane next to the 13-year-old Ismail Barlov of Bosnia and Herzegovina. Next to Barlov, the 52-year-old Ionis Kostakis of Greece. Well, this SB2 classification. SB, of course, it signifies it's a breaststroke event, but with 1 to 10 being the, the uh, physical impairments, it's S2, right on the most, some of the most impaired swimmers in the Paralympic program here. Yeah, and in the breaststroke events, the SB 1 to 3 swim the 50 metres, and then we'll see the SB 4 swim the 100 metres later. There'll be a range of techniques. see some of the swimmers getting held at the wall some of the devices like Grant Patterson got those cords and Barloff able to use that one leg to get a dive off the block and he's up into his stroke pretty well yeah we can see things but they see Patterson with that quick stroke rate short pull we're not breathing every stroke as you would typically see in a non-para program because people want to stay flat to the water and minimize the drag that they create but going well it is the youngster Barlov holding on at the moment to that advantage off the dive but it's very tight behind him well, Grant Patterson going well in the middle, but it is Barlov Kostakis going well. One lane up from the young swimmer, but it is going to be the 13-year-old Ishmael Barlov, I think, who's going to get ahead here. And he's coming away from the rest of the field in the closing stages. Marigliano going well for Italy. It's three swimmers to tussle it out for second, but it is going to be the 13-year-old Ismail Barlov into the wall. And he will get in 101 point one there what a swim from Barlov it was very very tight for second and third between Kostakis Patterson and Marigliano as well but there is the European champion the youngster 
Ismail Barlov. I think that's the very first medal we've seen at a European Championships from Bosnia and Herzegovina. What a moment for the young man. Yeah, a great swim for him there. He came in with the fastest time in the world this year, but at his age, that's, that's, you can look, put a lot of pressure on yourself as an athlete then because you so desperately want to deliver. But he lived up to it. He went even quicker than he's already been this year. He was pushed all the way. He knew there was pedigree in the pool. Patterson there, silver medalist at the Paralympic Games in this one. But look at the battle behind, but there was no doubt there. Barlov, the young, uh, keeping his cool. And he should be delighted with that victory. Well, great win there from Ismail Barlov. Congratulated there by Grant Patterson. We'll get confirmation of the result. Ismail Barlov, the 13 year old, will take the European title for Bosnia and Herzegovina. Daniel Marigliano with the silver. Grant Patterson will take the open bronze. And Ionis Kostakis in his eighth European Championships will take the European bronze behind the Australian. Well, <laughs> that was a great victory for the youngster. Wow, 13 years of age, Liz. Yeah, we've seen some great youngsters burst on to the scene. European Championships always a good venue, uh, a good location for that to happen. Sometimes it takes away some of the, the, the like the world strength, but not here. Grand Patterson was in the race, and uh, there's still delivery of that excellent swim. So Bolov can be delighted with that performance here this evening. There's not many in that class have gone under the minute mark, and he was just one of one there. So, wow. One to watch out for the, for the future, that's for sure. Yeah, and like we've seen in some of the other races, when, when you're the swimmer that gets the advantage of the dive, you're then swimming the whole way, trying not to tighten up too much because you know you're being chased down. And actually, it was so, so nice to see him hold on. And actually, he pulled away. Like, he swam really, really well there to take that one. It's an excellent time, yeah. 101. And at that age, still plenty of room for improvement. <laughs> He had a slight advantage off the dive. He didn't have was too not too far ahead. The other swimmers, more experienced ones, got good starts from from the wall as well. But yeah, the young man, fantastic performance there for him to take that one. And we've got one more event to come before we move on to some medal ceremonies. And that is the women's edition of this 50 meters breaststroke. It's a combined event as well. There's a couple of SB1 swimmers swimming in this one. Well, they're all swimming for one set of medals up against the SB2s. Angela Procida, world well, championship bronze medalist in 2022. She goes in lane number seven. Representing Italy, Giovanni Canate. Again, another one of these uh, newcomers to the Italian team. Oh, two Italians leading them out. Diana Kolsova, just 16 years of age. Kolsova, Victoria Gorenko. Might be a main contender for some of the medals here. Israeli Summer World Championship silver medalist in 2022. Teresa Perales, well, what can you say about Teresa Perales? Over 40 European medals to her name over the years. She goes in lane five. Lova Johansson making her way out to lane number one. A bit of late comer to the call room there. At Tanya Schultz in the centre lanes. The German will be the favourite World Championship silver medalist. Not sure why Lova Johansson didn't come out there. She might have missed a cue, I think, Liz. Mm. It's possible. <laughs> <laughs> she's there, though. She's got a lane, so she's got a chance. Yes, Paul. Lova Johansson in one. Tanya Schultz, though, will be the favourite. Veronica Gorenko. 
also medalist at the World Championships, and Teresa Perales. Well, now swimming as an SB1. So Teresa Perales next to Tanya Schultz. Teresa Perales was an SB4 swimmer, but she's now moved down to the SB1 classification. So and Tanya Schultz has been one of the finds of the last couple of years for the German team, hasn't she? Yeah, and again, in this event, we do see a lot of athletes come in to the classification or the sport even sometimes um, through acquired disabilities and impairments. And that's what we saw Tanya Schultz had an accident. And also, Teresa Perales, she said, was an S5, SB4, but then had an accident that hurt her arm. Actually, remember, it was when we were remotely commentating the champs last time and we spotted mm. that she... She pulled out of the meet halfway through, and unfortunately, that turned out to be quite a significant injury for her. We see her now making her way into lane five. There is Tanya Schultz. Once again, a range of starts there. We saw Mincinati, the Italian in lane two, just one lane up from that yellow hat of Johansson, being held at the feet to be in the optimum position to get up straight in to the stroke. And they left yellow lane. There we see Tanya Schultz going well. Also is Koltseva. Teresa Perales in that red suit for Spain in the middle but the battle is at the front it's very close as we go into the final 15 meters signified by that red marker yeah Kultseva had a, an excellent start there and she's just about holding on Tanya Schultz now with a little bit of a fight in our hands here for Kultseva in lane number six Gorenko not too far away in lane number three as they come down there there you can see the flags it might be Diana Kultseva who's got the edge at the minute, Tanya Schultz really fighting hard, holding off the challenge of it. Veronica Gorenko one lane down, but Kultseva might just produce a little bit of a shock here as she comes into the closing stages now. It is going to be Kultseva into the wall in 116.59 and she will take it. Great swim there from Kultseva. Big improvement and that was enough to keep her ahead of Tanya Schultz and Veronica Gorenko. So what a swim from Kultseva. Big improvement from the 16 year old and that's what you want to see at a big championships. Yeah, excellent swim there as we just watch now. Procida coming in for Italy up there in lane seven. Johansson and Perales still in the water in lanes at one and five. So we'll wait for them to finish. But Kultseva, who came into this as the fastest in the field, but she's gone quicker than the time she'd been earlier this year. Over two seconds quicker, so we are still just waiting for the results to come in. There was Schultz, who we expected to get away, and that's the thing in the lower classification events sometimes. You can just have a little change in your body position and it massive like it massively impacts your time and that can happen either way. And we saw there a very strong swim from Coxver to take that one. Gorenko looks like she's gone up there for second position just ahead of Tanya Schultz. Not much in it at all. Coltsiva is a surprise winner of the women's 50 breaststroke SB2. Fantastic time in that final. The silver medal will go to Veronica Gorenko just seven 100s ahead of Tanya Schultz and the Italians Meccanati and Procida just outside of the medals on this occasion wow a little bit of a, a shock there to finish this section Liz we've gone on to the medal ceremonies now but that was a great swim from Goldsville wasn't it it was and we can see it like we saw then two teenagers in the men's event and the female event bringing their best to the championships it is it is often the case for youngsters the occasion 
like I said, a little improvement in training, you get something right in your stroke and it can have a hugely positive impact. And that is what happened there. And Kostler should be delighted. Very close between Gorenko and Schultz. But all three swimmers posting their fastest time of this year. So they can all be happy with that performance. Oh, man of ceremonies to come. We will uh, leave you for the time being for you to enjoy these ceremonies. The medals will be presented by Head of World Para Swimming. Craig Nicholson. Bronze medalist representing Israel. Israel. Mark Maria. Silver medalist. Neutral para athletes. Andre Nicola. Victory ceremony for the women's 400 meters freestyle S8. Bronze medalist, neutral para athletes. 
Jose Pato para a perda de outro. Maria Pavlova.
Santos. Well, the big Dutch presence there on the medal podium. Just to uh, end of the first medal set of medal ceremonies. Great to see the, the two Dutch Antilles there about being at the, the top now. I said European back in 2014 was the first time we saw it. Just set a European record back then, I think, as a oh, sure she's 13 or something at that point. Really young. Yeah. But yeah, it was a great story, wasn't it? I remember, like, there's pictures of her as a basket carrier when uh, World Championships were in Eindhoven in 2010. And then she was back there at Europeans 2014 racing. So, uh, full circle. Uh, still on top, 10 years later, there's, <laughs> there's the crowd. That's great shirts, those aren't they? Swim Madeira, it looks like a, like a training center or club or something. Well, they're waiting the entrance of the next final, and that is the men's 100 backstroke S6. The again, S1 to 10, as we said. Those are physical impairments, the S6 class. Hang in the middle of that. See a range of impairments here. Of the Para athletes in lane number eight. 
Danilo Semenenke and the 19 year olds Ukraine in ring number one Antonio Fanti oh, most often you see him over the freestyle events set a new freestyle world record this year going over the backstroke Daniel Videra the home favourite finalist at the last European Championships here David Sanchez Sierra fourth place the world champs in 2022 in this pool 19 year old Lou Yambo the non-European in this final he's fan of vegan again he's won medals in the international stage of the freestyle events this man very much a backstroke specialist Dino Sinovcic from Croatia twice a world champion 2019-2022 Dino Sinovcic starts his favourite in the centre lane and the no, Ispan Hofigen and the 19 year old Chinese swimmer Lu Yambo Sinovcic has had a great record in recent years. He's never really missed out on the medal podium. Took a bronze medal at the Paralympic Games. Silver medalist at last year's World Championships. Can he add another European title to the one he won back in 2018? Sinovcic goes there in lane number four. Van Hofegen in five. Yeah, and again, we can see the range of starts, and this will play out very differently indeed. Going well there, Luo in three, and Sancho Sierra of Spain in six, getting off to an excellent start as well. But Sinovic will look to come back through those middle lanes. You can see the white hat of Sinovic. Closest to us in the two yellow lanes. Closing the gap. This Luo going well and also going very well at the top is Ganuek. Right at the top of the pool going well. Yeah, Ganuek given the, the touch there, but uh, Luo using those strong legs to get ahead of Sinovcic. But here comes Sinovcic now, the main favourite from Croatia. You can't see Ganuek right up there at the top. He's still maybe just edging it over the Croatian and Luo and Ganiu looks like he might take this one look at Ganiu go on the outside lane this is an incredible swim now from lane number eight Alexei Ganiu he's going to spring a surprise Sinovcic has come back for second but Ganiu is taking this gold medal in a time of 1.13.47 and that is a new European record it's a long-standing record which has stood since 2004 but Ganiu subject to it Ratification, of course, has taken a new European record. What a swim from the outside lane. Sinovcic it was in second and Van Hofegen in third. It was an incredible swim up there at the top of the pool in lane eight. Sinovic needs to be happy with what he did as well. He swam quicker than he swam last year. He won't have been able to be from the outside lane. On backstroke, it's even more difficult to see anybody around you and there was a four lanes between them an excellent swim Van Hoofagen he swam his best time of the year as well so excellent performances once again there is Sinovic expected him to need to work his way through the field but I'm not sure anyone expected Ganyuk to get away quite as fast as he did up there out of sight and he will have the clock stopped and Sinovic will have expected that finish in those centre lanes but he will have been surprised to see a number two by his name well what a great swim from Alexei Ganyuk in the outside lane takes the title 113.47 it's a new European record for Ganyuk Sinovic in second 116.82 great time from the Croatian and Thies van Hofegen just getting in ahead of Luo Janbo those are the top three swimmers in the open class top three swimmers in the European class as well 
But another surprise in that outside lane. What a good swim from Ganyo. It was it just does go show. We we say it cheesy cliche. If you've got a lane, you've got a chance. But it is true that you just need to get in. Obviously, we didn't have heats in that one this morning. So it'll have been even more of a surprise for the athletes. Well, there's no heats in this one either. Women's 100 backstroke S6 final. Again, another one which promises to be really close. Dervla Brady, world championship swimmer last year for our Ireland. First Europeans, Maria Sakona. Finalist here at last European Champs. As was Ariana Talamona, Italian representative in this Essex 100 backstroke final. Isabella Vincent from Australia, the 18 year old. In lane six, in lane two. So Gabriel Sepavicuti. Here's Isabella Vincent coming through now. Who's the youngest swimmer in the Australian team in Tokyo? Nora Meister in lane number three. Oh, Nora Meister, European champion back here in 2021. Lena Schott, European record holder. Set that in Tokyo. And Anna Hontar, world championship bronze medalist last year. Well, Anna Hontar will be strong, Les Verena Schott and Nora Meister as well. Yeah, this is one of those, look at those centre lanes. This is one of those continental battles that is absolutely stacked. Nora Meister won the title ahead of Verena Schott in the Europeans back in 2021. It's a six backstroke for women. Really competitive, very difficult to tell. Where this one is going to go, Verena Schott, very much the big time performer on medals on the big stage, Paralympic Games, World Championships, European Championships. She is a European record holder. Anna Hunter, great world championships last year. And she throws this marginal favourite in lane number four. Yeah, Brady got off the wall well and up, but what well up and into the strokes is those centre lanes. That very smooth stroke there of Verena Schott in that top yellow lane. The German going very well in the early stages. She looks strong through that first 25 meters. Going well in three is Meister. They have very similar strokes. Meister with a, a shorter stroke length and a higher stroke rate. Shot going over first at the turn. 41.21 ahead of 42.73 for Meister with Talamona of Italy turning third, 44.97. Yeah, well, Verena Short, I said she was a big-time competitor. It looks like she might just take this one. 41.21 for Verena Short at the halfway mark. Meister now trying to come back. Talamona clear in third, but it is going to be Verena Short. She won the European title back in 2018. She was silver medalist in 2021. Looks like she's going to take another title here. Verena Schott into the wall and she gets it. 123.68 for Verena Schott. Nora Meister in second at 126.29. And Talamona also will be on the medal podium there. 132 for Talamona. Just ahead of Isabella Vincent. The Australian in fourth position. What a good swim from Verena Short. Really, right from the early stages, she hit the front and it never looked likely she was going to lose that lead, did it? No, and she's got a very similar stroke, like we said, with Ihar Boki. Like, you watch them and you don't actually, you can't tell how fast they're going because it's so long and smooth and strong. And she'll be really happy with that time. 128 was her best of the year coming into this she dropped a lot of time straight in off a camp a prep camp she spent a lot of time in Lanzarote that's where that suntan comes from 
And she's come into this meet in great form. She'll be pleased to get in ahead of Nora Meister. They have a very close rivalry, those two swimmers. <laughs> there is Verena Short. She is delighted with that one. Great victory and a great time from the German. 123.68, Verena Short takes the gold in the women's 100 backstroke A6. Nora Meister in second and it is Ariana Talamona. Another medal for Italy, this time to Talamona a bronze. And Hannah Hunter, one of the pre-race favourites, didn't really feature there this. No, and again, we don't have a heat this morning, so we didn't see. She definitely looked like she was finding that one quite challenging. A men's 200 freestyle S14 final. These are swimmers with an intellectual impairment. And seven swimmers. Looking to start for this one. Quite a number of non Europeans. Arthur Xavier Ribeiro from Brazil, the 17 year old. Nadia Kalili from Finland, twice a European finalist. Declan Bud, first of the three Australians, 16 year old, going in lane number two. Next is him, his 17 year old teammate, Darren Sisman. And the third Australian will be out together. Liam Schluter, the more experienced of the three. Twice a Paralympian, Dimitro Vanzenko, fourth place in last year's World Championships. And with lane four, well, very much the favourite is William Ellard. Ellard's been on great form recently. We saw him at the British Trials. Equal the world record held by Rhys Dunn, his British teammate in Tokyo. Ellard in four. Next to him, the Australian Schluter, Dimitro Banzenko. Just three Europeans in this final. Three Australians and one from Brazil. But Ellard. Well, can he make the world record his own at the moment? Reston is the holder, although Ellard did equal that time. He's not yet been ratified, though, but uh, this would make that one uh, an academic exercise if he goes faster than 152.40 here. Yeah, and he definitely went in to that race at the British Paralympic Trials with the world record in his side seat. That was his aim, that's what he set out to do, and he looks like he signalled his intent here from the start. 25-72 for Elad, 26-53 for Van Zenko. They were the first two over. Xavier Rero looked like he got a good start down in lane number one, the Brazilian but now that we look at the front of the field as they come up to the halfway point it is Ellard leading the way and Zenko looking like he will turn second the race and the chase is on behind Kalili was going well early on but Schlugter the experienced Australian now moving up into the third position but it's still all to play for but there is Ellard on the left of the screen he's got a body length lead over Van Zenko as they approach the final turn well going over this final turn he is bang on at world record pace here maybe just about a tenth of a second inside William Ellard Van Zenko trying to come back there's not much in it but Ellard now on his way home Schluter in third place Van Zenko now falling further behind but look at the strength of William Ellard now into the closing stages we'll keep an eye on this time 152.40 it's going to be mighty close for Ellard just tying up a bit in the closing stages and he's just outside in 152.62 that is an excellent time for William Ellard Van Zenko Great finish for Van Zenko, 154 for him. 
and it is Schluter into the third position just ahead of Khalili but Khalili will claim that European bronze well, Ellard really stretched away Liz at the front of the field as the race got going he was bang on world record pace just tying up very slightly in the closing stages but only 0.2 outside that record yeah, we keep saying it, but a lot of these athletes in different stages of their preparation coming using this championship for very different reasons. We do know that the Brits had their trials just two weeks ago, so Allard was rested for that. He was on world record pace days. I mean, he was on world record pace again, but just missing out. So he'll be delighted to swim such a strong time, having tapered and rested just two weeks ago. And Zenko put in a strong performance there also. Yeah. William Ellard takes the gold, 152-62. Dimitro Van Zenko in second place with Liam Schluter taking the Open bronze medal. But the European bronze medal will go to Nader Khalili of Finland. <sighs> Great follow-up there to his swim at the GB Trials, Les. Great stuff from William Mellard. Yeah, and a lot of these athletes still with trials to come. And here are the women. Again, yeah, a couple of Australians here. Montana Atkinson leads them out in main seven. 16-year-old and her 17-year-old teammate, Kyle Thompson. Outside the the two non Europeans, Janina Falk from Austria. Three, a few major championships in recent years, Falk, Pernilla Lindbergh. Oh, I might see this is a good chance for her to take a medal here. Olivia Newman Baronius, again a newcomer to the GB team. So, a world record in butterfly at the GB trials. A 200 freestyle and Valeria Shabalina, Paralympic champion, in the center lane, lane number four. Shabalina twice won this European title back 2014 2016, and she won the Paralympic Games gold medal in Tokyo in 2021 it's a very fast world record held by Bethany Firth a long standing one from 2016 that'll take a good effort to, to challenge that record of 202.09 yeah Firth pregnant with her first child so sitting out this cycle of competition but Strong pedigree in the S14 category from the British team over the number of years. Always there to try and challenge Shabalina. And they have found Olivia Newman Baronius, who goes in lane five there, one lane up. But it is Shabalina looking strong at the moment. In fact, four Brits top the world rankings this year but as we said they are one of the only countries so far to have had their tapered meet this year and Numa Moreno is going well but it is Shavalina who leads the way into the 100 meter mark the halfway point yeah, Shavalina just a, a slender lead there good turn with Lindbergh in at third position you remember only again real fine for the the GB team we saw her compete in a number of events at the GB trials and set that world record on the very last day of competition in the 100 butterfly so she's strong over a number of events and looking good for uh, a place on the GB team at the Paralympic Games but Shabalina very experienced campaigner and just about hitting the front here as they go over the final turn yeah, Shabalina there just pulled away and put some water between her and Newman Baronius in to that final turn and came out with the most significant advantage that she's had all race. But Newman Baronius trying to get back on terms, but it does look like 
Shabalina is working hard to maintain that lead. Oh, Shabalina now under pressure now. Olivia Newman Baroni is trying to come back, but it is going to be Shabalina, I think, into the wall. Newman Baroni is right there, but Shabalina will take it 208.91 with uh, Newman Baroni in second in 209.21. Another good time for her. And uh, Lindbergh will be in third position, so Lindbergh will be on the medal podium. But what a good contest that was! But Shabalina, well, she just about did enough, but she will have been uh, shocked maybe at the, the pressure she was put under by the newcomer, Olivia Newman Baronius. Yeah, very strong swim there from Valeria Shabalina. Takes her to second on the world rankings this year behind Great Britain's Poppy Maskell went at 208.41 at their champs so we see that result it's gonna it's shaping up to be a very exciting summer yeah certainly again these events as we said some of the swimmers have not had their trials yet some of the swimmers have everyone at different kind of places but if you can get in ahead of some of your competitors here at the European Championships, mentally it's going to be good in that lead into Paris. The result is confirmed. Valeria Shabalina takes the European title again. It's a third European title for her. Olivia Newman Baronius in second place. A silver medal on her first outing for GB team at a major championships. And Pernilla Lindbergh of Sweden ceremony. with the bronze. For the men's 100 meters of butterfly, S30. Well, that was our quick fire races. Another set of four medal presentations to come. Before we resume the racing, so we'll leave you with the ceremony. The medals will be presented by the president of the Portuguese Swimming Federation. Bronze medalist representing Ukraine. Oh, Silver medalist representing France. Alex Porta. Gold 
medalist and European champion representing Italy. for the national anthem of Italy. Por favor, levantem-se, se possível, para o ídolo nacional de Itália. Atletas medalhadas. para o hilo nacional da Ucrânia.
Panera, your medalists. E os atletas medalhados. Agata Kopelova. Silver medalist representing Italy. Yeah, with that attract the representation of Italy. Monica Poggioni. para o hino nacional da Ucrânia. As atletas medalhadas. So medal ceremony is over for the time being. And have two races for us to enjoy now. Um, first of the individual medley races 
see at these championships. 200 metres individual medley, SM7 for men. Please welcome the athletes for the men's 200 metres individual medley, SM7 final. Again, three non Europeans in this one of the seven swimmers and four Europeans. In lane one, representing Mexico. And one of the non Europeans in this SM7 class. 19 year old from Magdaleno of Mexico. Well done. We've got a World Power Series this year. Uh, yeah. Michelle. 18 year old some of these young Canadians coming here to these Open Championships Olympic Games silver medalist in uh, breaststroke Christian Sadi South African swimmer fourth place last year in the World Championships, Genevieve three times a European champion in this event, and his teammate Andrei Trusov, who is the world champion and the world record holder, set that world record last year in Manchester. Powerful figure of Andrei Trusov. Difficult to see beyond him, Liz, for the title. Yeah, he will be the favourite favourite in that centre lane. Again, no heat this morning, but an incredible race from him to take the World Championships last year. Maybe a bit of a surprise then, but not anymore. It's the world record holder, Andrei Trusov. Christian Saudi, South African. He's got a good record in the major championships. Trusov's record 228.19 and well individual medley always an interesting event as we go through the strokes all the different swimmers with the different strengths so the leads could change as we progress through this 200 IM yeah Sadi got a great start in that white hat of South Africa Boa Daiko went with him we can see Trusov in one lane to the left going very well he's got a great the first 100 meters breaststroke probably where he has the least advantage in this medley but an excellent freestyle swimmer as well so expect Christian Sadi to have a good first 75 meters he'll try and stick with the world record holder and use that breaststroke leg to his advantage because Chusov will finish very strongly indeed. There is Chusov leading the way, opening up lead on the backstroke now. As they come into the flag, signify five metres to the wall once they enter that red zone. And it will be Chusov that turns first. Got slow around at the wall there as he's up and into his breaststroke. This is where we'll see Christian Sadi try to use the breaststroke leg to his advantage. He'll want to work this as hard as he can to give himself the best chance to go up against Trusov down that final 50 metres. But Trusov having a good, strong breaststroke leg here. Yeah, Trusov just holding on to the lead against Christian Sade, Bo Daiko in third position. Bo Daiko, of course, great record in the European Championships over the years. His first Europeans was back in 2009, and I think he's made over 35 medals, almost 40 medals to his name, Evgeny Bo Daiko. It's his teammate that lead them through, though, onto this final 50. Trusov was able to hold on to the advantage he had against Christian Sadi. South African trying to come back now, but it is going to be Andre Trusov, definitely going to be the top European. Christian Sadi did just challenge for a slight moment there, but I don't think he's going to catch Trusov now. Bordeco clear in third position, but here comes the world record holder. He is going to claim his first European title, Andrei Trusov of Ukraine, into the finish. And he finishes 232.23. Trusov will take the title. Sadi will take the silver in the open event. Bordeco will take the silver in the European event. And it looks like Efrosinin might just come in for 
the fourth position and third European home. But a good swim there from Andrei Trusov. He did what he had to do. It wasn't as fast as the world record time, but we didn't expect it to be. It was a sensational swim last year. And Paul Dijkel will take the second European place. But Christian Sadi, great swim from him. That could be a, a lifetime best, Liz, and an African record for Christian Sadi. Yeah, great swim there for Sadi. Under the 2.36.1 that he posted last year. And he had a, again, it was a... This was a really great event at those World Championships last year. Tusov brings himself in his first swim in this one of 2024, right to the top of the rankings. Carlos Serrano Zorate, the Colombian, will be watching on. Expect them to have a battle in the summer. But great there from Tusov and pulled Sadi to a great, great time as well yes Hardy did a good swim just behind Trusov I thought for a moment he was going to challenge Trusov world record holder Andre Trusov takes the title in the 200 individual medley Christian Sadi an African record to take the open silver medal but the European medals will go to silver to Bodaiko and bronze to Efrosine Well, another record. We saw European record this morning. This an African record again tonight. Yep, they are coming. There's some fast women here. Yeah. Already. Again, the SM7 for women. Making their way out. And only five swimmers taking the start here. We go for the SM7 European final. Charlotte Cass, the 15 year old. From Germany, Lera Monti Campos, sixth place in the world final last year. Pamela Cruz Andrade, the non European in this one. There's Iona Winifred, just turned 13 years of age last week. The Great Britain started making her debut at the international Veronica competition, the major Kostova. international. And Veronica Kosova. Medalist last year at the World Championships in that stroke. This is the women's two meters individual in medley. This individual medley. Seven final. She's only 16 years of age. Veronica Kosova in the centre lane. Pamela Cruz to Andrade and Iona Winifred on either side. Go oh, young field this one. I don't know if already set a European record in 50 metres breaststroke. So watch out for her on the breaststroke element of this medley, the youngster. Just 13 last week. What a talent. Was. Yeah, and this is a great experience for the youngster. Well, and the youngsters in this field. This is an event typically dominated by those swimmers outside of Europe. The North Americans put in a very good performance at the World Championships last year. Going well down this first 50 metres though, the butterfly. It is Korsova. She'll turn first. 38.35 ahead of Winifred 41.48 with Cast 43.66. But not much really to separate any of them. And we didn't have a heat this morning with there only being five swimmers in this one. So quite a bit of an unknown, I guess, in terms of the battle that is going to unfold. But Korsova looks to be going well at the front of the field. Yes, yeah, she is here. Got medal last year's World Champs in the, the backstroke. Some good underwater shots, isn't it? We're getting here from the pool. Iona Winifred, really known as a backstroke and more of a breaststroke as she's come to the fore in recent times. So she's got a little bit of a disadvantage now, a little bit of a, a gap to make up for Kosova. Winifred, very strong in the breaststroke, but as they go over at the halfway point, Winifred's going to have something like, well, eight and a half seconds, the advantage it is that she has got to make up. It's very close for third there. Three swimmers, Ortiz, Campos, Cruz de Andrade and Cast, almost touching the wall together. Not much to separate them, but can Winifred pull back the deficit now? Well, you can see from that brilliant head-on shot, just the difference 
in the stroke styles. Winifred has to be seven in the press stroker, using that leg kick to propel herself through the water. Whereas you can see Korsova, no leg kick from her. So that's where the, the breast stroke plays into this medley. And Winifred has now come up and hit the front of the pack. Slow all to play for on the freestyle, but it will be Winifred that touches with 50 to go in the lead. 224.11, 49.8 was her split there compared to, of course, it was 1 minute point eight five. So you can just see that advantage overturn. Winifred 2.5 seconds up as they moved on to that 50 freestyle. Well, can I on the way first hold on the 13 year old now and Korsova, Veronica Korsova coming back with every stroke now, the Ukrainian. It's Great Britain now against Ukraine, Iona Winifred. She is holding on the youngster, but here comes Korsova right down to the wire. This one now, Korsova with every stroke she's closing by Iona Winifred. Right, just hold on to this one. Here comes Gorsiva. Winifred kicks again. And she is going to take the title. Iona Winifred, in her international debut, will take gold. 309.76. That is incredible swim from the 13-year-old. It's second to Gorsiva. In third place was close Kuz de Andrade. And cast in fourth. But Iona Winifred, what a swim that was. 3.09 for Iona Winifred. That was an incredible swim from the youngster. Yeah, great swim there to take the continental victory. Korsova, we said, a very strong first 100 metres. And the thing with the individual medley is you can't choose the uh, order of the strokes. And I think sometimes that plays into the hands of the swimmers whose second half has got a very strong breaststroke because then they're chasing down the field and it, the momentum is with them then going on to the freestyle leg. Korsova did have a strong last 50 meters. She got the deficit down from 2.55 at that final turn to 0.48 to touch in a solid second position there. But it was Winifred's breaststroke that made the difference on that one. Well, there is the European champion, Iona Winifred. What an incredible swim. Iona Winifred is a European champion, 309.76, half a second ahead of Veronica Korsova from Ukraine. Pamela Cruz de Andrade will be the Open Bronze medalist, and Charlotte Cass, the 15 year old, will take the European bronze. Oh, what a swim, Liz, from, from the young swimmer, Iona Winifred. What a talent. Unbelievable yeah. swim. Youngster, like we said, that is an event dominated by the North Americans. Two Canadians and three swimmers from the United States of America occupy those top five spots on the rankings. But a great swim there for Winifred to take the European title. Well, another 13-year-old on the medal podium. Now on top spot. It's the men's 50 breaststroke and they'll leave you with the ceremony. Presented by President of Madeira Silva. Bronze medalist representing Greece. Silver medalist representing Italy. Emmanuel Maricliano. Ismail Balov. Please rise if you are able for the national anthem of Bosnia. 
Please rise if you're able for the national anthem of Bosnia and Herzegovina. So for the subsidial for the win of national de Bosnia and Herzegovina. E os atletas medalhados. As atletas medalhadas.
He's got so much more speed. Too difficult to beat. But again, the key is for the men's everything going <laughs> well, everything went well for Takis in the heat. Can he reproduce that in the final? His teammates in it as well. Simona Severbris, the 17 year old. First of the Lithuanians that we will see in this final. First of the two Spanish is Dambela Jara, the 18 year old. The two youngsters in the outside lanes. Second Spanish swimmer, our championship medalist in the relay, Cantero Alvira. Kero Serbian, medal in this event. And the Europeans, a bronze medal last time out in 2021. There's a home favourite, cheered on by the crowd, Marco Meneses. Portuguese swimmer in lane number six, Roger Dorsman. Dorsman, the world champion from last year. Goes in lane three. David Kurtochville, what a swim he had. The young swimmer, 16 year old, he won the 400 title last year. And there he is, Edgar Matakis, fastest qualifier, the reigning European champion in this 50 freestyle. And where Black Turk goggles, with the exception of Manessis, I think, who has prosthetic eyes, so he doesn't have to wear the Black Turk goggles. Attack is fastest qualifier in this 50 freestyle S11 final for Touchfield and Dorsman had a dead heat this morning 26.89 he qualifies second equal well big chance from Attackis to retain his European title Liz yeah absolutely like I said he looked so good this morning I just need to replicate that this evening, but Roger Dorsman always steps up, and the youngster Cratchyville definitely one to watch. Well, we can see they are away cleanly, not much to choose from. And Roger Dorsman here, we can see on that lane rope, that blue lane line going very well. Takas tends to swim down at the middle of the pool in that yellow lane line closest to us, but Dorsman is leading the way. Well, it looks like Dorsman might just take him. Takas having a great fight with uh, Kurt Oshfield, but it's going to be Dorsman into the wall first. 26.39. It's another dead heat for second. 26.89, exactly the time he went in the heats as well. Wow, Matakis will share the silver medal position, but it is going to be Dorsman who will add the European title, the title that he hasn't won in this event. He won the world title. He's now going to be European champion. Great swim from Dorsman in lane number three. He had the lead as they came into the second half, and that was vital. Matakis, well, silver medal this time. I think he knows about it. He must have heard the announcer, or maybe his coach has told him. But 26.89 for Torchville. 26.89 in the heats, he tied with Dorsman. 26.89 in the final, he ties with Matakas. Yeah, we can see, we didn't see this angle off the start. There we see the start, and Dorsman got away very powerfully off the block. He was more to the left, we can see there, the power as Dorsman finished with was very strong indeed. Matakas, though, well, can't be too disappointed because Dorsman did go quicker than Matakis went in the heat. So that was the quickest time of the day to take the gold medal, which is not always something that we see in the S11 50 meter freestyle. It lived up to the hype, didn't it, of being a copper squad. I don't think Matakis spotted his finish correctly. That's maybe why he was shaking his head. The result, Roger Dorsman, 26-39. He takes the European title ahead of David Krotochville and Edgar Matakis, who tie for the silver medal position. I don't think it would have made much difference, though, Liz, if Matakis had spotted that finish, because Dorsman is just that little bit too far ahead, I think. Yeah, Matakis did have a little bit of a glide. Want to hit it on a full stroke, if possible, especially S11 athletes. Usually they can't have the luxury of seeing the wall as they come into it. He 
final feminina dos 50 metros oh, de Oh, the S11 men put on a good show. What are the S11 women going to do again? Some massive names in this. Eliza Humphrey. One of our Humphreys twins. Eliza and Scarlett Humphrey have been really breaking British records. The UK summit. Tatiana, Tatiana Latnarova. World Championship bronze medalist in this event in 2022. World and Paralympic finalist Anastasia Shevchenko. European record holder Carolina Pelendritu. Well, she was a world champion back in 2022. Didn't have the best of heats, so we're hoping to go faster in the final. Pidobna, reigning European Ukraine. champion Pidobna, Katarina Katchuk, her Ukrainian teammate. In lane five, in the in the Europeans United here last time out. America, There's Anastasia, Anastasia Pagonas, the Paralympic champion in 400 freestyle. And she do over this 50. And there's the Zep Branson. What a swim she had in the heats. 29.73 in the heats for the Zep Branson. You think that's a lifetime best for Bruce Smart and only 15 100s outside the European record this held by Helen Dritu. She looked delighted with that swim this morning, Liz. Was yeah, that dip, Dipped under that 30 second barrier. She'll be looking to do that again here. She's clear of the field in the morning's heats. Helen Dritu had some battles with the lane ropes. This morning, what can she do in this final? Well, it's a powerful start from Pilindritu down in lane two. She is quick when she gets it right. She's the fastest in the field, and she can see her going very well here. She does just lead Runzma. Runzma going very well again, but this time Pilindritu is executing her race plan effectively. Well, looks like Pelandritu might just take this one. Bruzma coming back though in the closing stages. All going to be on the touch here. And it is Pelandritu, I think, into the wall. 29.72. Bruzma in second. Again, under the 30 second mark. 29.91. Pagonis gets in for third in an America's record of 30.63. And Pedobna will claim the bronze, the European bronze for Ukraine. 31.28. But, well, you said. She'd be a threat, Liz, if she got it right. She got it right. 29.72. Yeah, one one hundred quicker than Brunsma went in the heat, but significantly quicker than she managed to go in the heat. She'd be over the moon with that. I think she was very disappointed with that heat swim, as she said, or got caught up on the rope a little bit. And it really can knock your confidence and knock your momentum. But she put that behind her, come back strongly. For 29.71 last year. So she's right on that again already. And uh, a great America's record, if ratified, for Pagonis. So fast swimming all round in that one. Uh, Pelandritu takes the European title, 29.72. Great victory for the Cypriot there. But Zep Brunsma, again, under the 30-second mark. She can't be disappointed with that. She takes silver for the Netherlands. Pagonis will take the open bronze for the uh, USA. And uh, Pedubna will take the European bronze for Ukraine. 31.28 for Pedubna. Well, staying with the 50s, Liz. It is the 50 breaststroke for the men. SB3. Next out. That was a good swim from Pelendry too. We thought she would be faster in the, the final, Liz. And she just about got it right. She did scat the lane ropes a little at the, the end, but nothing like what she did in the heats this morning. No, she almost ricocheted off them this morning, and you could tell it really affected the time and her stroke but she's come back strongly there and she, it was the powerful start really the Brunsma, we saw that endurance come in through strongly at the end Helen Vito as well will be back for the breaststroke events as the breaststroke has come out for the men's SB3 
two Brazilians in this one. Here's the first one. Obdero da Silva. Vicente. Vicente Gil. Again, two experienced Spanish swimmers in this one. Vicente Gil, five times a Paralympian. Brazil, Eric Tobera. Eric Tobera. Paralympic Games bronze medalist in the relay, Eric Tobera. In lane six, representing Austria, Andreas Onhofer. The European Championships before in this event, the Austrian. In representing Israel, Dadon. Four gold medals at the World Championships last year. Top five, rankings this year. Spain, Miguel, Luque. Miguel Luque. Second of the experienced Spaniards. Six Lane times four, Paralympian Miguel Italy, Luque. Had a great record Bonelli. over the years. And the man who was just behind Dadon in the world rankings. Only by a tenth of a second this year. The only two men under the 50 second mark. Efrem Morelli. Of Italy. Morelli, champion in the European Championships in 2018 and 2016. Miguel Luque won the previous three versions of these European Championships. Efren Morelli and Ami Omer Dadon will be the favourites. Very fast world record held by Roman Zadanov. Only two swimmers in this field have been under the 52nd mark this year. Well, again, you can see a variety of starts there. Use the best technique that works for you. But that blue hat there is going well in lane four of Morelli. One lane closer to us is Dadon. Going extremely well as well. You can see a lot less breathing than you would expect if swimmers were using their legs. That's to keep them flat against the water. Dawn looks to be just in the lead, but Morelli has a slightly longer stroke. He looks to be coming through now. Yeah, Morelli now might just be edging it, and Dadon, but Dadon is a fighter, we know that. He is going to fight every way to the end, and Dadon coming back with that white cap. Morelli really under pressure now. It's all going to be on the touch for these two, and Dadon, I think, might just get it. Dadon does get it, 49.47. It is second place to Morelli, 49.56. How close was that with Miguel Luque? A second behind to the Spaniard again on the medal podium. But what a great finish from Ami Omar de Don. Wow, excellent finish to take him ahead of Morelli on the very final stroke. Yeah, it was the momentum that he went into the wall with. It was how he finished there. He finished on that full stroke. And that was ultimately the difference. Great swim though from Morelli. And what a word from Miguel Luque. Another major championship podium. Forty-nine four seven silver for Morelli in forty-nine five six. Well, Dadon going from the water, but he was he was ahead in the early stages, ahead of these people that were going for the from the sit start. And in the end, Morelli thought he might have had it five meters out, but Dadon just got the reach, and there was nothing in that at all. Nine one hundredths of a second. Dadon will take the European title. Morelli, oh. Under the, the 50 second mark, both of them bang on their best times of this year. But the result does go to Ami Omer Dadon, 49.47 ahead of Efren Morelli and Miguel Luque, another medal for the Spaniard at the European Championships. Oh. We've seen some great finishes tonight, Liz. That was one of the best of them. That was right down to the wire, wasn't it? The breaststroke seems to be producing that tonight. Sullivan's 50 breaststroke, SB3. Safanova from Ukraine. Seven swimmers in this one. Paralympian from Tokyo, Safanova. Have to from first time in a major championship for Amina Abchu. Marina Bervova is the reigning European champion, took the title in 2021. Katz won a pole. Marinova won a pole 
Portuguese guard, the 23 year old, in lane number six. Fernandez Infante, Olympic champion from Tokyo in lane three. Two much to the head of the Spaniard at the World Championships last year, Katz Fanapol. The silver medal, the South African. The European record holder. Took the gold at the World Championships. Italian stuff this night, well rested. We had a while to add uh, another gold medal. Will this be a rare chance? Monica Boggioni, fastest entry time into this final. That's one of Paul close behind. Marta Fernandez, Infante, in lane number three. Three medalists from the World Championships last year. It's a high quality field here at these Europeans. SB3 classification 50 meters breaststroke. So we saw have to go in from the block. Everyone else right at the top there at the, of the screen, but everyone else starting from the water. Pretty even down the first for the four swimmers in the middle. Swanepoel going well. Boggioni at the moment though slightly leading that spearhead. Fernandez Infante one lane closer to us. Looks to be in second at the moment. Yeah, it does look like Boggioni is going to live up to the favourite spilling here. Monica Boggioni just pulling away now from the other two who are fighting it out for the second position. Fernandez Infante and Boggioni now into the last five here comes Boggioni into the finish and she will take that one in 54.16 for Boggioni it's Fernandez Infante in second in 58.65 and Swanepoel just over the one minute mark but that is the fastest time of the year for Monica Boggioni faster than she went in the world championships last year and she will claim that European title ahead of Marta Fernandez Infante Cats of Monopole will get an open bronze medal and Marina Verbova will be the European bronze medalist. Oh yeah, it played out to the form guide. No heat this morning, so that 55.5 entry time from Bergioni was her World Championship time last year. Swanepoel got the advantage off the start, but then once they were up and into the stroke, Bergioni looked strong at one point. Babova was ahead of Swanepoel, but Swanepoel started well and she finished well to round out the top three. Yeah, still waiting for confirmation of the result. Here we go. Monica Borgioni, 54.16 to take that one ahead of Marta Fernandez Infante. And Kat Swanepoel, the open bronze medalist for Marina Babova, the European bronze medalist. Will be a open bronze for Swanepoel and Ukraine. Well, the that's the end of that batch of our finals list, the 50 day. meter events. We'll go on to the 100 meter events, but first of all, it's some more uh, medal ceremonies for us to enjoy. ceremony for the men's 100 meters backstroke S6. Seguimos para a senhora de 3 medalhas, a prova do 100 metros de grupo, 100 metros cortas masculinos S6. The medals will be presented by a deputy director of World Para Sports. Os medalhas serão entregues pelo diretor da World Para Sports, Massimo Vigas. Bronze medalist representing the Netherlands. Yeah, that is bronze. Representação dos Países Baixos. Vies van Hoffingen.
silver medalist. Representing Croatia. E é o Prata, em apresentação da Croácia. Dino Simonovic. Costas Femininos S6. Bronze medalist, representing Italy. E a medalha de bronze em representação de Itália. Ariana Talamona. da Suíça Nora Meister para o hino nacional da Alemanha. Your medalists. 
e as atletas medalhadas. Masculinos S14. Bronze medalist, representing Finland. E a medalha de bronze, a representação da Finlândia. Nada, Kalili. possível para o hino nacional da Grã-Bretanha. Madeira, os atletas medalhados. Gold medalist, a 
and European champion, neutral para athletes. Medalha de ouro e campeã europeia para a atleta neutra. Valeria Javalina. Madeira, as atletas medalhadas. Well, back to the swimming action. Well, we've seen a few, a uh, couple of anthems we haven't seen for a while. Bosnia and Herzegovina anthem tonight. You see, have you got your uh, countries listed already? I think so. Based on a medal presentations, Italy have had four gold medals presented. The Netherlands won. Ukraine two. Bosnia won, Germany won, Great Britain won. They are the anthems that we have heard so far this evening on night one. Yeah, maybe that you both have anthems. Put me under that pressure. Johnson system. Well, you know, you're good at it. Here's the S12 swimmers. Again, the visually impaired swimmers in the S12 class. 100 meters backstroke. In representing Spain, Borja San Tomeo. He's a world championship bronze medalist. 2022, bronze Tomeo. Igor Kuzman, the 19 year olds. He's our outside lane. Or Roman Michka. Roman a world championship finalist. Three Ukrainians. Second, Sukhanov, the 15 year olds. Going in lane number two. Second Spanish from a Villarero Martin. In the centre, Vashkovic. European silver medalist last time. Roman Salai, the Paralympic champion, goes in lane number five. There is. Fastest qualifier, Yaroslav Denisenko. Well, there is his wife, Katarina Denisenko, Paralympic champion herself. And that looks like a mini Denisenko to me, does. Yep, Denisenko Jr. could well be. There he is. What a great moment it would be. If they can see Yaroslav take the gold here. He goes in lane number four, Raman Salai. Paralympic champion might have something to say about that. He goes in lane five. Dennis Enko fastest on qualification. Looked good, Liz, didn't he? 101.91. He did. It's the fastest anyone in this field has been this year. So he's put himself in a really strong position. He's away while they're in lane four, Denisenko. Going strongly. It's pretty tight though at the front between the three athletes. Vashkovic, Denisenko and Paralympic champion Salai in that white hat. 
Salai might just have the edge to go over the turn. Salai just takes it only 0.3 of a second ahead of Denisenko Vaskovic. Not too far behind, but what a good turn from Denisenko. Takes him into the lead. Yeah, he used that underwater very well there indeed. He leads that angle. It's difficult to see. There we can see slightly better. But Salai not giving up as we go through that 15 meter mark to go stroke to stroke here. And he's all going to be on the touch now. Salai and Denisenko. It might be Salai will take the European title. He does in 1 minute point 98. Two sensational times there. Denisenko in second position in 101.41. And it was Baskovic in third position in 103.35. There is Denisenko. He gave absolutely everything. The flags are waving from the family. But it was second position this time for Denisenko, just behind Raman Salai. And Raman Salai, the Paralympic champion, now the European title winner. He retains the title he won in 2021. He looked very strong in the end. It was a great swim from Denisenko, though. Yeah, absolutely. Denisenko signaled in his hand. Salai, though, just finishing strongly. Denisenko improved on his time from last year, the time he went this morning, so he cannot be disappointed. And then Salai just just off what he went in 2023 last year. So it's all to play for in this category. I'm sure Stephen Clegg of Great Britain with the quickest time in the world this year. He dipped under the minute mark back in March in Edinburgh. Raman Salai becomes the European champion for the second time. He takes it in one minute point nine eight. Just behind him, Yaroslav Denisenko, 101.41. And Zimbasevic in third place in 103.35. Another good contest at the front of the field. And another close race in prospect here for the women's hundred batch stroke as well. Agora é a final feminina dos 100 metros costas S12. Seven swimmers start Caroline up. Kaiti. 20 year olds. Going in the number one. The only non European is Sophie Jin Wen Su. Our championship finalist last year. Okay, Naomi Schwartz. Good to see her back again at the major championships. Twice a Paralympian for the German team. Leanne Marceau, 20 year old from France. Ramping up for those Paralympic Games in Paris in the late summer. Petra Kovicheva from Slovakia. Just missed out on the medals. The World Championships last year. There's Maria Delgado Nadal. Top of the world rankings this year. And Anastasenko, Paralympic champion back in 2016 in Rio. Two entry times. Stetsenko, fastest entry time. But only by less than half a second from Maria Delgado Nadal. Maria Delgado Nadal has had a great record in this event. Taking silver and bronze medals at the major championship. She's never been on top of the podium. Stetsenko has winning that Paralympic title back in Rio in 2016. Petra Gavicheva, fourth place in the World Championships last year. The Slovak in three. Well, Delgado Nadal was the top European at the World Championships in Manchester last summer to take that bronze medal. She's gotten off to a good start, as has Stezenko. And Mosil also going well for France. Just leading the way, it looks like it is Delgado Nadal as they come into the wall together. And I say that. Sisenko looks strong and it'll be gets their feet to the wall first. 
And it is Dagar Denadal, 34.56 ahead of Stasenko's 34.90. Well, this is going to be another close one, Stasenko coming back very strongly. Dagar Denadal maybe just in second now. And can she respond to the power of Stetsenko? Stetsenko maybe just with the edge. It's between these two. It's all to play for for third position. Uh, but it looks like it is going to be Stetsenko who's going to be in ahead of Delgado Nadal here. And it is Stetsenko in lane number four into the wall first. And she will take that one in 111.19. Delgado Nadal 112. But it is more so who takes the bronze medal for France the 20 year old on the medal podium at these European Championships but such a good second 50 from Anna Stetsenko Delgado Nadal just faded in that second half of that race yeah a, it was a race of two halves there Delgado Nadal took it out very strongly indeed Fastest time of the in the of her year so far though 112 flat for Degard and Nadal. So things are moving in the right direction. And Stasenko just showed that strength. Great 400 meter freestyler, so we know she's got the endurance and she used it there in the closing stages of the race. But there really was little to choose between the two at the turn. The lead was with over uh, Delgado Nadal, 0.34 ahead of Tosenko, but it was that second 50 and the last 25, more specifically, that made the difference for the Ukrainian to take the title. Yeah, very powerful in the closing stages from Anastetsenko. Maria Delgado Nadal, yeah, another medal at the major championships, silver this time at the Europeans. And what a good swim from Liam Morceau, 20 year old, the first major medal bronze here in this 100 backstroke. It's Anna Stetsenko is the champion, 111.19. Maria Delgado Nadal in second, and Liam Morceau in third position. Those are your European that medals. Well, yeah, real power there from Stetsenko in the closing stages, Liz. Yeah, they, like it could have gone anywhere down the first field. You've got to play to your strengths, and the Degrado Nadal would have known that Stetsenko could come back strongly, so she took it out. But the advantage just wasn't enough. So 100 meters breaststroke, SB4. 100 meters breaststroke, SB4. We saw the heat this morning in this SB4 event. There's the Zika, 17 year old. Goes in the outside lane, in the other outside lane, Maxim. Emiliano, fifth place in the Paralympic Games. In lane two, representing Spain. And Luis Herta Pogsa. What a poser. It's a busy night, Luis Herta Pogsa. He goes in the SP4 classification. In lane six, representing Championship Italy. medalist last Manuel year. Mateo the finalist Porto. last year, I should say. As was this man, Mama Mateo Bortuzzo. In lane three, three swim. neutral para athlete. Alexander just behind Moko. Alexander Moko in those qualification heats. Both of them could be in the uh, running for the medals, but the Paralympic champion Dmitry Chernev and the world champion Anas, uh, Antonios Sapatakis. They will be the favourites for this one. Sapatakis was very comfortable in the heats, as was Chernev. This is the men's 100 meters. The two swimmers SB that have four, really five. dominated this event over the past four or five years. Tsapatakis and Chernaev in four and five. It's the SB4 classification, Liz. We saw some good swims in the heats this morning. But we think uh, some swimmers have got more to give in this final. Yeah, Shirni Ive there had a really good second 50. So we know he's going to be strong. And Zapatakis always has a good first 50. And 
we saw the upset is going from the block in that sky blue swimming at of Greece. Goals there to the left of your picture. This time though, Shuniaev not holding back down the first 50 meters. He's looking strong, the silver hat in the right of the two yellow lane lines there. That great front on shot going really, really well. He's got about a body length lead as we come in to the turn. He'll turn in time of 45.31. Exactly two seconds the advantage over Zapatakis with Porturzo going very well for Italy in lane six. Yeah, Chaniev staying flat, looking really powerful. He's got a little bit of a, a quicker turnover than Sapatakis. Very, very powerful swim here for Chenaev, the world record holder and the Paralympic champion. Can he keep the stroke going? Sapatakis, they're trying to play catch up in third now. Might be Molkov just overtaking Bortuso as they come down to the halfway mark, but into the final stages now. Looks like Chenaev is going to add to that Paralympic title that he won a couple of years back. Chernayev also won the European title that year as well. It's going to be a second European title for Chernayev into the wall. 137.96. Sapatakis is going to hold on for second in 142.56 for Sapatakis. And in third place, it is going to be Molkov. Alexander Molkov in 144.89. It was closing on Sapatakis in the closing stages, but the Greek was just able to get in in second position. But Chernayev looking really powerful and Sapatakis couldn't really live with the power of Chernayev. No, we saw it in the heat. They swam at a very different star race. Chernayev was in the second heat and he just let the other athletes take it out. And then he, but he came through really, really strongly. And so we knew what he had in the tank. We knew that the danger was there and then he delivered still some way off his best so he did have the advantage in the field and he delivered to take that top spot yeah right from the start really Sapatakis didn't get the advantage that we thought he might need Chernoyev went out to that early lead exactly two seconds at the turn Sapatakis had it all to do but Chernayev was the stronger. Sapatakis in second. And puts him from Molkov to claim third. That's an improvement for Molkov to claim that uh, bronze medal position. But no doubt about the winner. Chernayev dominated that one from the front. 137.96 for him. Sapatakis in second. And Molkov in third, just ahead of Bortuso. Well, some nice racing there from the breaststrokers, Liz. But we are going to have to wait a little bit longer before we see the women's 100 breaststroke. Some more medal ceremonies are now due on for us to enjoy the medley, individual medley events and the 50 freestyles for the s the medals will be presented by President of the General Assembly of Madeira Swimming Association. Ricardo Borges Freitas. Bronze medalist, neutral para athletes. A medalha de bronze para o para atleta neutro. Ikov M. Francine. Silver medalist, representing Ukraine. Gold medalist and European 
European champion representing Ukraine. E é medalha de ouro e o campeão europeu também é representação da Ucrânia. Andrei Trusov. Please rise if you are able for the national anthem of Ukraine. Por favor, levantem-se, se possível, para o hino nacional da Ucrânia. E os atletas medalhados. The Victory Ceremony for the Women's 200 Meters Individual Medley SM7. E a cerimónia de entrega de medalhas da prova dos 200 metros de luz individual femininos. SM7 Bronze medalist representing Germany E a medalha de bronze em representação da Alemanha Charlotte Leonora Kass Veronica Kotsova. Gold medalist and European champion representing Great Britain. Medalha de ouro e campeã europeia em representação da Grã-Bretanha. Iona Winifred. Able for the national anthem of Great Britain. Por favor, levantem-se, se possível, para o hino nacional da Grã-Bretanha. E as atletas medalhadas.
victory ceremony for the men's 50 meters freestyle S11. Yes, Simone de Trigueses, os 50 metros livres masculinos S11. Joint silver medalists representing Czechia. David Kratochvil. possível para o hino nacional dos Países Baixos. Os atletas medalhados. Livres femininos S11. Bronze medalist representing Ukraine. E a medalha de bronze em representação da Ucrânia. Marina Pitovna. Europe 
Canadian champion representing Cyprus. Carolina Palindritu. Please rise if you're able for the national anthem of Cyprus. Por favor, levantem se possível para o hino nacional do Chipre. Madeira, as atletas moderadas. So moving on to the last few races, the last piece of swimming action. Three more races for us tonight. Well, there we see. We saw Vincenco's baby earlier. That's Fanny Isles. He's going in the next heat. There's her family in sport. They travel everywhere together on the camps, competitions. Starting to see her back in the racing. Well, there's the, the French. There's the Portal's grandfather. He's an old friend of us and ours now. <laughs> we met him last year at the World Champs. French have picked up a couple of medals. Are they going to get one tonight? They've got a good chance. With three finalists in this women's 100 breaststroke SP4. Hovkova. There's the, the Paralympic Games. In Tokyo, the first of the French swimmers, Lia Xavier. Who's in lane number one. A few new French swimmers, Selam Chapui, 19 year olds. Who's in lane number seven. Irina Dimitrova. The European medalist in 2016. Natalia Pavel Lukova. Finally, that major championship for Lukova. Celine Sash. Good chance for her to add another medal. To the one that she won at the World Championships. But here is the Paralympic champion, Fanny Ellis. Oh. Can she win the European title again? Julia Giretti is the world champion twice over taking that title this in 2023 and in 2022 promises to be a real head-to-head -head list between these two it does and Illis getting quicker every time she gets back from in the water from her comeback she was pleased with her heat this morning Julie Giretti is the fastest in the world this year Giretti steady on the blocks it's already in the water these two have had some great tussles in recent years a little bit of a delay at the start there so lane sash three lanes up saw her this morning really lean back try and get some momentum 
on that start. Yeah, we saw it there. The body leg, just as soon as she's into the water, she's up, though. No propulsion from those legs. Great underwater shot there. See the contrast in style that the swimmers have. Hanelis looks to be going very well from that angle down through the first 25 meters. Like I said, working her way back to her best with every competition that she swims. But right now, they are neck and neck, stroke for stroke, Giretti and Illis at the front in those yellow center lanes. This is what we are used to seeing when they race each other. Goretti now just with a slight advantage as they go under the flags into the red zone. And it will be Goretti that turns first. 52-33, 52-98 for Ellis, and then Divya Tova turns third, 57-43, simply in lane two. Tie at the back, tie at the front. This is going to be a very exciting. And Goretti breathing to the side as we saw her this morning. She's breathing to towards Fanny Ellis on the way down to the finish and I think the Italian might just have this one what great strength from Julia Galetti now going ahead of Fanny Ellis now not sure the Paralympic champion can respond here Garetti the world champion is gonna claim this European title Fanny Ellis on her comeback she is getting faster but she's not gonna be fast enough to get in ahead of Julia Garetti it is gonna be Garetti into the wall and she is going to win the European title Julia Garetti will take it in just under the 150 mark 149 62 she wins it convincingly in the end from Fanny Illis who is going to get third position here is it going to be Celine Sash is it going to be Divya Tova or Pavlukova right up there in lane number five it is Pavlukova lane six sorry she will get in there have a pull up but there are the two swimmers we thought would fight it out at the front of the field and that's how it proved and Julia Garetti this time coming out on top with Fanny Ellis on the silver medal position well great swimming there Julia Garetti so strong in the closing stages yeah and that was the difference at the moment but that's to be expected it did have that time out of the water as you would expect so she's come right she can't be disappointed with that and you can see all smiles for both swimmers Giretti under that 150 mark and in again another fast time in terms of her return to competition post childbirth so she's moving in the direction in the right direction she'll be gaining confidence every time she gets in the water is the bronze medalist. Yeah, two great times there. 149 62. Garetti looks delighted with that time and also the title as well. I'm not sure that she has uh, been under 150, so that might be a first time for Julia Garetti to be under the 150 mark. Julia Garetti takes the European title 149 62. What a swim. She was pushed all the way by Paralympic champion Fanny Illis, and it was Natalia Pavlikova in third place close, close contest for third the Celine Sash and Arena Divyatova good swim and Garetti was pushed all the way Liz that pushed on to a great time yeah absolutely and we've seen those two athletes battle it out <laughs> so tightly over the years and like I said great like when you race somebody that often and you have that close rivalry Representing Australia, Riley Moore. In lane one, 
representing Poland, Alan Ogozalek. In lane seven, representing Ukraine, Sergei Shevtsov. In lane two, representing Spain, David Levick. David Levick, what a record he has in the European Championships. First won a title back in 2009. Grigoriev in lane number six, but big names in the middle. Yelvenko. Ukrainian in lane number five and Stefano Raimondi. Five goals at the World Championships last year. He's already got a goal to his name tonight. The Italian, here he comes. Oh, can he add another one? He'd be firm favourite. Only about half a second advantage on the rest of the field in qualification ahead of Nevchenko. Tuckfield, the Australian. One of two Australians in this one. Riley Moore in the outside lane in lane number eight. With two non Europeans. But Raimondi and Nemchenko in the centre lanes. There's the full lineup Ogrzalek, Levek, Tuckfield, Raimondi, Nemchenko, Grigorev, Shetsov, and Moore. Well, there wasn't much to choose between the athletes off the start. They're going well in four. It is Raimondi also going well in five. Nimchenko. Yeah, it's between these two, I think, in the center of the pool. Raimondi in lane number four. Might just have the edge. Nimchenko, though, is going to be all the way to the wall here. Might be Nimchenko. And it is Nimchenko. 24.04. Nimchenko takes it ahead of Raimondi. Vyshetov in third place and Nimchenko, well, he's done it. What a swim. Imondi has to wait again for a European title. He was second in 2021. He'll be disappointed with that. But Nimchenko, well, he won it. 24.04 for Nimchenko. Great swim from him. And he, oh, Nimchenko takes it. Excellent time. Yeah, Nimchenko just 100th outside his best time from last year. This is one of the most hotly contested podiums in global para swimming. We saw the Australians that aren't here race this weekend, and Tommy Gallagher went 23-6 there. Robert Brothers 24-1. Brazilians have their trials next week. It's all to play for in this one. But there we see Nimchenko did everything he needed to do here in Madeira to take that victory. And here yeah, Nimchenko takes it 24.08, just 14 one hundredths ahead of Stefano Raimondi. And with Sergei Shetov in 2466 in third. Well. That was a great swim from Nemchenko. He's taking the edge as the Ukrainians still celebrating. Katrina Denisenko. And one more event to come in the pool. And that is a 50 freestyle in the S10 classification for women. Bianca Pat representing Hungary. Bianca Pat leads them out. Well, Bianca Pat, three gold medals at the World Championship last year. Not known for her 50 freestyle sprinting. Susanna Cold, medalist at last European Championships. Kellyanne Warrington. What a good swim she had a few weeks ago in the British Trials. Elizaveta Sidorinko, Tokyo Paralympian. Florian Butcher, European record for the S9 class. This is an S10 event. She's swimming up a class. And she'll be across from her teammate Lisa Kruger. In the centre, Alessia Skoltekini. Oh, gold medalist at the Euros last time out. And Emily Pierre, bronze medalist at those Europeans. French swimmer fastest into this final, but my goodness, it was close. 
only a tenth of a second this separating her and Scottakini. And only another final. few hundreds behind them were Kruger and Bolcha. Well, we know that Kellyanne Warrington is also capable of mixing it with the swimmers in the middle. Malin Pierre and Alicia Scottakini. We'll start. Marginal favourites, I would think. Pierre. In the centre lane, Scottakini, the fastest time registered in the world this year for the swimmers in this final. Well, first up was the pink hat of Sudarenko, but the great starts in those centre lane, the straight arm stroke of Pierre going well in four, but still going well is Sudarenko. Yes, yeah, Sudarenko right there in the mix, but coming through now in five, Scottikini possibly, maybe also going well, Lisa Kruger, Sudarenko right there, but it might be Scottikini into the wall first, I think it is Scottikini, 27.90. It was Sidorenko in second and Pierre in third, but Scottakini takes the title again. She retains her European title. And great swim from Scottakini in the second half of that 50. Excellent start from Sidorenko, and she led for a long way there, but into the last 10, and it was Scottakini who took it. Yes, yeah, Scottakini was superb in the second half of that race. She's dipped under that 28 second marker and what's great about these S10 women's swimmers is they're always so pleased for each other at the end of the race they recognize when a strong swim has been performed in whatever event they are competing in but it was an excellent start from Sidorenko Pierre gave herself a really good chance but Scottakini had a storming last portion of that race to take the victory yeah, and she realised that punch in the air at the end, Scottakini. Fantastic swim there, looking really strong. Spotted that finish as you have to do on a 50, and that was vital. Alessia Scottakini takes the European title 27.90 for the Italian. The Italians have ended the night as they began. Elisaveta Sidorenko, great swim from her in second, and Emmeline Pierre in the bronze medal position. Well, excellent way to finish, Liz. Some really close races there in these 50s. That's the last swimming action, but stick with us and celebrate the achievements of the swimmers as we go on to the final set of medal ceremonies. Starting with the 50 breaststroke for the SB3. SB3 The medals will be presented by Vice President of the Portuguese Swimming Federation Miguel Bronze medalist representing Spain Miguel Luque. Silver medalist representing Italy. Silver medalist representing Italy. Yeah, we've had a Prata presentation de Italia. Efren Morelli. Gold 
medalist and European champion representing Israel. E a medalha de ouro, o campeão europeu, a representação de Israel. Ami Omer Dadeon. Please rise if you're able for the national anthem of Israel. Por favor, levantem, se possível, para o hino nacional de Israel. Madeira, os medalhados. Os femininos SB3. E a medalha do bronze da Ucrânia. Marina Vapova. Fernandes Infante. Gold medalist and European champion representing Italy. E a medalha de ouro e campeã europeia na representação de Itália. Monica Pocchioni. Please rise if you're able for the national anthem of Italy. Por favor, levantem, se possível, para o hino nacional de Itália.
Madeira, your medalist. Madeira, as athletes, medalhadas. possível para o hino nacional do Azerbaijão. Madeira, os atletas medalhados. Femininos S12. Bronze medalist, 
representing France. The Lady de Rose, a representação de França. Leon Masso. Representação de Espanha. Maria Delgado Nadal. Gold medalist and European champion representing Ukraine. E a medalha de ouro e a campeã europeia da Ucrânia. Please rise if you are able for the national anthem of Ukraine. Por favor, levantem se possível para o hino nacional da Ucrânia. Madeira, as atletas medalhadas. The medals will be presented by President of the General Assembly of Madeira Swimming Association. Os medalhas serão entregues pelo Presidente da Assembleia Geral da Associação Natação da Madeira, Ricardo Borges Freitas. Bronze medalist, neutral para athletes. E a medalha de bronze para o para atleta. Neutro. Alexander Mokov. Silver medalist representing Greece. Silver medalist representing Greece. Medalha de prata de Grécia. Antonius Suspatikis. Gold medalist and European champion. Gold medalist and European champion. Neutral para athlete. E a medalha de ouro e o campeão europeu para atleta neutro, Dmitry Sharadiyaz. Madeira, os medalhistas. Madeira, os atletas medalhados.
the victory ceremony for the women's 100 meters breaststroke SB4. Cerimonia de entrega de medalhas para os 100 metros russos femininos SB4. Bronze medalists, neutral para athletes. E a medalha de bronze para o para atleta neutro. Natalia Pavlikova. Silver medalist representing Hungary. Silver medalist representing Hungary. E a medalha de prata para a Hungria. Fanny Illich. para o hino nacional de Itália. Madeira, as atletas medalhadas. Livres masculinos SP. Bronze medalist representing Ukraine. E a medalha de bronze da Ucrânia. Sergei Shevtsov. de Itália Stefano Remondi
please rise if you're able for the national anthem of Ukraine. Por favor, levantem se possível para o hino nacional da Ucrânia. Madeira, os vossos atletas medalhados. Feminina dos 50 metros livres, S10. Bronze medalist, representing France. E a medalha de bronze em representação de França. Emily Pierre. Medalha de prata para a para atleta neutra. Elisabetta Serenko. Gold medalist and a European champion. Representing Italy. E a medalha de ouro e campeã europeia em representação de Itália, Alessia Scottagini. Please rise if you're able for the national anthem of Italy. Por favor, levantem, se possível, para o hino nacional de Itália.
Madeira, your medalists. Madeira, os vossas atletas medalhadas. Well, what a fantastic night of racing we've had here in Funchal. Well, that's the uh, final action of the first night of the uh, Madeira 2024 Paris Swimming European Open Championship. We've had a great night, haven't we, Liz? We have. There have been some surprises. There have been some stellar performances from some experienced athletes and it sets us up for a really exciting week to come. Record breakers. As you see the results of all the finals tonight. Um, some couple European records today. African record and an America's record as well. And the Italians, as you will see from the results that we're just scrolling through, had such a good start to the evening. Stefano Ramondi taking that 100 breaststroke and the Italians started and they finished really well, Liz. Seven medals tonight, seven goals? They did, and we said about it early on, but it is something that we have come to expect from the Italians. They've got such strength and depth across the para swimming program. In terms of events, in terms of classification groups and within both genders. And we saw that they started well, they finished well, and I'm sure that will set the tone for the rest of the week for other nations to chase. And how many different anthems did you hear tonight, Liz? Okay, give me one second to keep talking. <laughs> okay. Nine, nine, I heard nine. nine. As you count. Excellent. You gotta prepare me for these questions. I know, like, <laughs> Nine different a anthems. A couple of 13 year olds as well. Iona Winifer from uh, Great Britain, the Barlow from uh, Bosnia and Herzegovina. We not often hear the, the Bosnian national anthem, but it was good to hear tonight from the youngster. So the youngsters step it up. There's Ishmael Barlow right on crew. Right on cue there. 101 15. Excellent time for him to win the 50 breaststroke. But yeah, it's been a good night of action. And that is only night one. Six more nights to go for this European Open Championship. And the action all starts tomorrow morning here at Madeira time at 9.30 in the morning. Another few uh, European champions for us to crown tomorrow on second day of action. So Liz and I will sign off for now. And join, please join us again in the morning as we see the results of all these finals scroll through your screen. So from Liz and myself, it's bye for now, and we'll see you day two at 9.30 in the out there and really find a company that you feel comfortable with that will support you where you can bring your whole